Okay, so here we are, folks, at World 6. This is Chocolate Island. Chocolate Island is unique. It has these new enemy types. These are new dinosaur enemies, which basically, the big ones are just kind of like, you know, a dinosaur, like the Rexes. And the small ones can just basically just brew out fire for no reason. Oh, and you can do that! <laughs> I could use that earlier, Mario, but you have to take that powder from me. Ah! No! Yeah, these things can actually kind of swarm you, these little dino these big dinosaurs type enemies. They just, they just swarm you like nothing else. Goodness me. Also, when it comes back to the one stage in this... Okay, chocolates... Okay, there's the chocolate secret meme that everyone likes to talk about, but this land is kind of full of, basically, you need to do... find the actual alternate exit to actually continue to the stage. It's kind of like the Force of Illusion, but not fully committed to the idea. It's kind of weird, because Force of Illusion was mostly like a straightforward path. You just have to find the right, you know, pipe to, to, to get out of there. Oh, no! I want that! I want it now! Thank you. <laughs> I need my fire flower! <laughs> there we go. Hooah! But, uh, oh. Because, like, oh, I lost Yoshi! Don't worry! I get it back! <laughs> I get it back, no problem whatsoever. Oh, boy. I see we had the fire flower on hand. We are able to get the red Yoshi back. So we had the green cap. I don't... I'm pretty sure if you were just normal Mario or Luigi, I'm pretty sure you would probably get the, uh... Yellow Yoshi by default. I wonder if it's Mini Mario and Luigi that would allow you to get the um the green Yoshi back. Ah! Oh, I hit the There we go. Broke immersion! <laughs> it broke immersion! It broke immersion! <laughs> oh that 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 pipe jump scares me half the time. Or more all the time, really. I was about—I was gonna do the Yoshi jump, and I somehow hit the uh, emulator button <laughs> on the Wii U. <laughs> All right, now it's time for Luigi to tackle. You know, I'm going to get power-ups back because I need them. <laughs> back to the pool of secrets. I need to, I need, I need at least a wing cap for this, or wing crap. I'm gonna say Cap Feather every time, probably. Cap Feather. Oh, that nice job, Alex, man. Thank you for actually missing up the power up this time again. I'm gonna get this, because I'm definitely gonna need this. Luckily, you just go back to the stage and get whatever you want. It's just so nice and convenient. <laughs> Alright, time for the ghost house. This is of one of only two. I think I mentioned in the dome level, or the dome vanilla fortress, that that was the only uh, ghost house that actually had a only one exit. This one also has only one exit, too. And this one's kind of annoying. And that one has chocolate platforms that basically are melting. <laughs> and I thought this was wood. <laughs> Not today. This is actually chocolate. Ooh. And actually, Luigi's actually good for this stage because he can actually jump higher a little bit and actually avoid some of the obstacles. Oh, and we have our boo fishing buddy. You fooled me with the you fooled me with the one up and uh, ball of fire? No, not the way. Yeah, this guy can be a little annoying. He can I don't and actually the times he comes in here, he is invulnerable because there is no star man in this place, which is kinda sad. Ooh. Ooh, no. Ah, I keep I'm getting hit by I'm getting rickrolled by everything here. Ooh. This stupid ghost. <laughs> this ghost fire is not doing me any favors. Ooh. Get in the door, Luigi! <laughs> How many times do you want to try to get into a door and you can't? So this is this world, this level's gimmick. They have these three cement ghosts, I'm gonna call them that. That basically you're supposed to guide and um, and get you the wind of the stage. If you have a cape feather, you can circumvent the entire puzzle by default. And it's just easier to boot. And we get ourselves a bonus game out of that. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Alright, Luigi, see if you can hit these stars. I'm failing at so much. <laughs> this, this this bonus minigame does not work with Luigi's new physics. <laughs> I'm not gonna get a star out of that. I'm not gonna get a life out of this, am I? 
Oh, I got one. Okay, I finally... Oh, Luigi finally wins one, huh? Oh, yeah. Luigi finally wins. <laughs> All right. Here's the stage I was referring to. This level here is a red space. Now, this one's a little bit tricky. I think I recommend Mario for this. Because in order to actually get the secret exit, you have to go fast. And you want to basically just go fast as best you can. Ow. How am I getting cut so much with this? <laughs> because the faster... Because... So, depending on the time you're at, um, depends on the exit! Oh, no, Mario, why'd you slip down the hill? <laughs> Fine. Cut out. <laughs> Get some power-ups. <laughs> Mario's gonna need him again. <laughs> now, back to the Forest of Plentiful here. Uh. Don't you dare hurt me, fish! I just want your feather... And back out I go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, because I say, World 6 is kind of a tricky for me because it is, you know, stepping up in difficulty by far. Alright, now with some power ups without that, with that pool of plentiful on our back, let's see if we can tackle this level again. Chocolate Island 2, let's go. Oop. I think that item box, that uh, speaker box, actually tells you that. In order to actually get to the secret passage, you have to... I'm going to avoid Yoshi for this. I need to go faster for this. Like, if you can just float, which is probably the best for you, so you can just jump and glide. You gotta go fast. That's the one thing about this stage. And it's the only stage to do it, too. Which is odd, to say the least. If you go fast enough, you should get this portion, which is, has a lot of charging chucks in it. This is where it tells you where you've got the... This is... Now, if you go too slow, you'll go into a different sector. Now, this is like... Look. This is how... Oh. Ah. Oh, good. He went the other way. Good. I thought I was going to be scared. Yeah, there we go. Touchdown! <laughs> we got the key, and there we go. Out and about. That allows you to go to the secret passage. This level actually kind of skips the entirety of World 6. <laughs> And Luigi's gonna tackle it. Let's tackle Chocolate Secret! Chocolate Secret! This level is kind of weird. But the fact that it can be broken with Luigi is because of Luigi's higher jump. <laughs> and again, it's like the only other two, and it's actually one of the very few levels you see that Charging Chuck actually using footballs to hurt Mario and Luigi. Weird. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me either! <laughs> this is why I play soccer, not football. <laughs> you know, it's weird. They have this enemy, and it's clearly in the, sp in the vein of a football player, but Mario or Luigi has never actually dabbled into the f American football. <laughs> They've always dabbled into, uh, into soccer only. I guess it would be too rough to... No, I'm, I'm, who am I kidding? It's like, it can't be a rough sport. It'd be too... It'd be rough because of soccer. Like, Mario Strikers Battle League showed me that. That Mario and Luigi can... Mario and company can basically beat down when the... When the chips are down. So why not can we have American football? We had rugby. <laughs> we had rugby already, and it's like, well, that kind of works out. So why isn't, uh... We have American football? It's probably because no one else around the country would actually understand how that game works. Everyone can understand what soccer can be. Also, that would be cool. That's indeed true. <laughs> Ow. And yeah, now we get to this one point in the stage where I don't really... I hit... Ah. I, keep, I keep thinking it's ZR and not just R. The Wii U control panel... The Wii U uh, panel is a little weird to do this type of game in because... On the Game Boy Advance, the R button was really close to you. And now on the gamepad, it's a little awkward to hit. At least to tap that button, anyway. And so they got these uh, small floating puzzles here that... Oh, Luigi, go! Oh, yeah! Woo! I love a walker! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. I was doing just fine that earlier. Had a rough patch starting, but, you know, I'm able to walk on lava? <laughs> That's perfect for Luigi. Ow! How dare you? And the rest of the stage is all just charging chucks. 
which can be a, a benefit or a detriment depending on how well you handle against charging chucks. But I'd say the most difficult part is just... Huh? That's not helping. Yo! That kind of hurt. Luigi, how dare you? I'll be back <laughs> with more power-ups, don't you see? Okay, got some power-ups. Let's go. Let's fly this level. At least the checkpoint is kind of very nice to be placed to. All right, now we're back. We're back up here again. <laughs> I had to slide out again, don't you know? Gotta complete the stage one way or the other. Even with when Luigi's also sliding down like this, his uh, floatiness of his jump actually carries over from his sliding. So it can be kind of uh, nice to avoid certain pitfalls, but like this, Luigi can hang on to a shell while sliding. <laughs> Luigi is just that awesome. Oh boy, I almost hit that. That would've been bad. I wanna hit these spinies. It's kind of weird that there's random spinies here, and then afterwards it's just, you know... Uh, just, you know, charging chucks. So awkward. Awkward, to say the least. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Now you just fly, fly across here and just hover. Because again, if you... Mario actually has an easier time with this because of his non-floaty jump. So, bear that in mind. But if Luigi with the glide, oh yeah, this level is just broken to say the least. Broken beyond belief. Oh, Luigi jump! Oh my goodness, how did I do that? <laughs> how did I do that? Oh, Kaz, I beat the chocolate secret. One way or the other. Paradoxes? Oh, paradoxes that I can either jump high or jump low, <laughs> depending what you're after. Now that pipe will actually take you to Castle 6, but you don't want to do that. Not too much. We want to actually complete the normal stage. Let's complete this normal stage right off the bat. Let's go. Now this time, we gotta take as slow as we can. I know, it's kind of an inverse of what we were just doing. <laughs> so if you want to get all the... I'm also trying to get all the all the dragon coins in this stage is kind of a, a... Kind of a painful process because of how this only... This one weird level works. Where you have to go fast to get the secret, but go slow to get the normal exit. Oh boy. No! I will take you down! One way or the other, Koopas! Oh no! Sorry, Yoshi! <laughs> I can't save you that, buddy! <laughs> I'll get you back later. <laughs> I'll go back to the top secret area. At least I can get that guaranteed for free. Without any effort at all. <laughs> ah! Oh, dang it. So we get to this other area, but now we have a lot of these rhinos. I'm a sergeant. I'm just getting hit all the way across. I'm just taking hits. The other map you can get in this map is the mushroom one. And the mushroom one... Um... Man, I gotta, I gotta do a blind jump. Ooh! And also back to Rexes. I mean, we haven't seen these enemies since World 1. <laughs> it's like, that's random. <laughs> random area right there, folks. But yeah, the other map you can get in there is a whole on, like, it's all mushrooms. Like, all super mushrooms inside bubbles. <sighs> this stage, huh? Alright, let's go into this stage. Falcon Island 3. I'm not a big fan of this one. Not a big fan. No, no, no. No story, Bob. This level has uh, an alternative exit, and it's very annoying to get to. Well, actually, it's not technically that bad to get to. It's, uh, it's like a butter bridge, where you have to go underneath the goalpost to actually, you know, get the secret exit. Or the true, uh, the true path, technically. And, um, well... <laughs> At least this time, you don't have to sacrifice a Yoshi. You don't have to sacrifice your friend <laughs> to actually get this thing. But, you know, overall, I wonder why it wasn't like this in the butter bridge area. We get up here, though. Coins are plenty. It's literally a coin heaven. Huzzah! Do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> Alright, jump down here. Oh no, now we got we got the fuzzies back. <laughs> like the random fuzzies just return for no apparent reason. We haven't seen them since World 2. So it's like yeah, it's like a it's like the it's like the chocolate laurel is kind of like a hodgepodge of everything. So yeah, here we go. So, the only way to get to the secret exit is to 
Oh no, not you. You're not taking me out. Get out of here. Is that you have to have a bring a Yoshi? Or just fly? And you just fly across, and then there's the other exit right there. And that's it. That's how you get the normal exit. Kind of a jerk, actually. So that gives you two world. I could do the chocolate fortress, but we're going to tackle the other exit because we're going after every exit, folks. Which means we actually have to play the devil's advocate here by actually going and getting the wrong exit. Oh, Mario, you almost killed yourself again. <laughs> I, I don't. I swear this is not on purpose. <laughs> Oh, you say that every time, Mario. I don't think even Bowser's impressed by this point. <laughs> oh boy. So you can take this pipe here and take a good shortcut across the map, or take the long path, where you actually get the short... Well, not the shortcut, but you actually get the, uh, the checkpoint. Yeah, taking the pipe actually skips the shortcut, or the... the <laughs> I'm, sp I'm spending my words today, aren't I? Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm trying everywhere. Every time how this occur. Well, if you see on me uh, Kaizo levels, I die a lot, apparently. <laughs> and to be fair, folks, I actually have not even done one of those Kaizo hacks that deal with Super Mario World. I'm not even wanting to even attempt at one. Like, I've seen some that are kind of like, you know, the, uh, oh, this is for, this is a Kaizo for beginners. Like, I don't believe that in the, in the slightest. Not one bit. All Kaizo levels are hard. Oof. I want this power up, and I'm not. I'm seeing scared beyond this platform here. There we go. Oh boy. Oop. Go. Oop. Jump. All right. Go over here. Get this plant up here. Uh, go up. Actually, I can take this, can I? Yes, I can. Oh, oh, dang it. How many hard times is Mario trying to get up a vine? Name them all. <laughs> uh, duh, 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 duh. And there's a normal exit. The normal exit. And all this exit does is take you around a circle. It's like, it takes you around a circle. Like, what was the point? <laughs> what was the point of that? <laughs> they had to add an exit somewhere. 